Alright YouTube, today we have two charges which have been placed a certain distance apart. And in this problem we're going to solve for the force on one charge as a result of the other. And we're also going to solve for the electric field at this point as a result of this charge. Now electric force can be found using Coulomb's law. And Coulomb's law is given by this function, where K is what's called Coulomb's constant, that's 9 times 10 to the 9th. Q is the charge, and R is the distance between the two charges. Now this might look a little bit familiar, it looks a bit like Newton's law of universal gravitation. It's just rather than worrying about masses, we have charge, and rather than dealing with the gravitational constant, we now have this much larger Coulomb's constant. So to solve for the force between these two charges, we simply plug the values in the problem into Coulomb's law. Starting with k, that's 9 times 10 to the 9th, multiplied by the value of one of the charges, and which one we use first, it really doesn't matter. I'll do this one. That's negative two. This little u right here, or mu, that's micro. That means times 10 to the negative sixth coulombs. Then we have our other charge. That's this positive one micro coulombs. That's one times 10 to the negative sixth. And that's over the distance between our two charges, which is gonna be one meter. I know this says radius, and sometimes that can be confusing because people start to wonder whether or not they need to take this distance and divide it by two, like you would in looking at the diameter versus radius of a circle. And that's not true. This r, however misleading it is, is truly the center to center distance of these two charges. Now working this out, we find the electric force is negative 0.018 newtons. Now we need to talk about the meaning of this negative sign right here. See, this negative doesn't have anything to do with whether the force is left or right. What this negative is telling us is that the force between these two charges is actually causing them to be pulled towards each other. If this result had come out positive, that would mean the two forces were actually pushing away or repelling each other. And if you look at where this negative came from, it exists because these two charges had opposite signs. Ultimately, going back to the idea, the opposite charges attract each other and similar charges repel each other. If we had two charges with the same sign here, this electric force would have come out positive. So now that we know the electric force, we can... So now that we've solved for this electric force, we can now turn our attention to solving for the electric field at this point. The equation for electric field looks an awful lot like Coulomb's law, except it only involves a single charge. So the question comes up, if we're trying to solve for the electric field at this point, which charge do we need to use? Now you'll remember, we're solving for the electric field at this point as a result of this charge. So we're going to use the magnitude of this charge in our equation for electric field. Again, using Coulomb's constant multiplied by the magnitude of this charge over the distance between this point and our two microcoulomb charge. And this gives an electric field of negative 18,000 newtons per coulomb. And much like we did up here, let's talk about what this negative for electric field means. See, this negative, just like before, isn't telling us about whether or not the electric field is acting to the left or the right. What it's doing is telling us whether or not a positive charge placed in this field would be pulled towards or away from this charge. If the electric field is negative, that means the positive charge would be pulled towards this charge. If it was positive, that means the positive charge would be repelled. So the signs on both of these are not telling us about actual direction, it's just telling us about attraction versus repulsion. So this is how you solve for the electric force between two charges, as well as the electric field at some point as a result of a charge. I hope you've found this useful, and on that note, that's all for now.